Hey everybody, Miles J here, and this is Q&A number 23! Q&A with Miles J. Welcome to Q&A with Miles J. If you're new to this, this is the video where I answer your stupid and or thought-provoking questions. Let's get started, shall we? If you had to choose between marrying a goat and having a puppet attached to your hand for the rest of your life, what would you pick? Well, Hal Shamaba, just as long as the puppet is on my left hand, I should be fine. And I don't want to marry a goat because, you know, I like to keep my options open. My question is, why do you switch your hair with a lot of bright colors instead of the natural colors? You look so good with brown slash black hair. Thank you so much, Natalie. I appreciate that. But to be perfectly honest with you, I think that natural colors are really boring. I mean, I love the brown hair. I have like a brown wig and I used to have a black wig until I dyed it. It's cute for like a while, like a day, and then it just becomes boring because it's just like one tone colors. And that's why like highlights and even like natural highlights aren't enough for me. So that's why I like having my bright colors, my pinks and my blues in my hair. When did you for certain? Whoops! When did you start wearing makeup? Did your friends and family accept it? I know I answered this question like a while ago, but I just really needed to put this on this Q&A because that comment combined with Kirby's face is priceless. Anyway, I started working makeup in like 2009 or something like that and my mom was just kind of like indifferent about it and my dad was just like, okay. And it was only eyeliner, so it wasn't that much. Dear Miles J, have you ever had a run-in with the law? I'm sure a f I've had it a few times, but nothing big. The only time where I actually had been stopped by a police officer was when I was here in Lompoc and I was filming in the middle of the street. It was like two o'clock in the morning and there's like no cars when it's that late here. So I really wanted to get like a street shot for this thing that I was doing. I don't even think I have the clip anymore, which is freaking sad. But I was in the middle of the street and I was just filming and I had my tripod with me. While I was walking back, I start seeing like a police car come by and I was like, well, it's time to go. <laughs> so I start walking away and then the police car is like following me around the corner and I start walking faster and I'm like, I'm trying to get in the apartment before the police car gets here. I start going by and they stop me and they're like, whoop, whoop. And I'm like, fuck, 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 fuck. So I turn around and I'm like, hi officers, how are you guys doing? And they're like, good. And they're like, what are you up to? They're like really nice though. So I was like, I'm just, you know, filming. And they're like, oh. <laughs> filming and then he was like oh well the reason why we stopped you is because we got a call a about a disturbance because some woman thought I was carrying my tripod was a club like an actual freaking club like she thought I was going to like some I don't know what she thought you know but she saw a black man outside in the nighttime at two o'clock in the morning with a, a big club looking thing she thought oh shit it's about to go down so she called the cops. So I was like, okay, well, whatever. The cops like got out of the car and then they were like, okay, well, where do you live in this apartment complex? And I had to like open the door at two o'clock in the morning and I had to wake my dad up to tell him. And they're like shining in like my dark apartment complex with their bright ass flashlights. That was interesting, an interesting night. Krishna asks, question, are we dating? Mm, no. <laughs> What are you feeling about anal bleaching? X dash D. I don't really have feeling about anal bleaching. I really didn't know what it was until I googled it and then I found out that it's weird and I don't know why people do it and why it's constantly brought up in conversation so I don't feel anything about anal bleaching. X dash D. Apples or dogs? Dogs? Miles, if you had a boyfriend, would you sacrifice everything for him, including hanging out with your friends? No. Hell no. I've seen people do this all the time. And it does not make any sense to me. It makes no sense to me. I don't understand how somebody could be willing to leave someone has been with them through thick and thin for someone who just comes up and gives you some sooky sooky. I don't understand it. And if I had a friend that did to, to me, I, I, I would be mad. I would be pissed as hell. But the thing is, I would still be there for them. Because at the end of the day, I know most likely they are probably going to break up because that is just too much isolation for a human being. And 
when they break up, they ain't gonna have nobody to go to. Because they ditched all their friends. But I'm gonna be that one person that be like, look at you did. Look what you did. Look at your life decisions. Look at your choices. Look where they put you. And then they gonna cry and I'm gonna be like, that's right. But I forgive you. Because you was going through some shit. And it's okay. But if you do that to me again, I will not talk to you ever. Just don't, y'all. Don't get do that. That is no. LaPrey is asking, yo Miles, when are you coming to London so I can drown you in tea and shit? Um, I don't know, when I get like a visa or like a passport or something. And that costs like a lot of money and I heard it tastes like a, a while. I don't know, like I've never been out of the country before so it might take a while but let's just wait, okay, and see what happens. We'll, we'll talk, we'll talk. Which celebrity do you think is overexposed so far? Kim Kardashian and her damn baby. I can't tell you how many magazines I've seen in like Walmart and Target and stuff talking about Kim Kardashian crying because she thinks she's fat or whatever or other people think she's fat and gay. Like, there is a human being growing inside of you. And not only just about, you know, her being pregnant from Kanye West, but Ray J coming out and talking about I hit it first. Do you know how old you sound? You sound like you nine years old talking about this woman like she is a toy. I don't know how many men she slept with. I know you were not the first one she slept with. So you need to calm down with all that I hit it first mess because you hit it somewhere in the middle. Get out of here with that sexist nonsense. I hit it first. I'm gonna hit you first. And I'm gonna get my friends and they gonna hit it last. How, how you gonna feel about that, huh? Yeah, that's right. That's what I thought make a song about you. Mm-hmm. I'm a Taylor Swift that ass. Kingsley, talk about that shit. When you finally turn that big 2-1, are you planning on going ape shit drunk that day or just keep it cute? Probably like somewhere in between. I don't want to be like drunk drunk because God knows, God forbid something happens or I have to vomit. I, I have a fear of vomiting. What do you think about women who choose not to shave their body hair? And do you shave any of your bodily hair? This is a good question, Meg. Just as long as everyone, you know, takes a shower. I don't mind body hair. I really, really don't. As far as me shaving my body's parts, I don't really like to shave because I often cut myself on accident. So I use Nair on my legs um, and I shave my armpits and my face and occasionally my stomach. I know. Ew. Are you single by choice or because you can't get a boyfriend? Excuse you, I could get anyone I wanted, but I'm already taken. Thanks. Broom! This is my boyfriend, Broom. We've been going out for like a year or something. I don't know. I haven't been keeping track. But like, it's been like the best relationship ever. So you can suck it, Tatum. Who needs their child Tatum anyway? It's like she was eating tater tots and she was like, mmm, I love these Tatum. Oh, that's gonna be my baby's name. Yeah. Talking about my boyfriend. Oh my god, Broom. Oh, Broom, you can leave now. Yeah, so whatever. Can you sing K-pop? Sure! Shiver to doop, shiver to doop, shiver to doop, K-pop. Shiver to doop, shiver to doop, shiver to doop, K-pop. Shiver to doop, shiver to doop, shiver to doop, K-pop. Shiver to doop, shiver to doop, 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 K-pop. Shiver to doop, shiver to doop, shiver to doop, K-pop. Shiver to doop, shiver to doop, shiver to doop, K-pop. Shiver to doop, shiver to doop, shiver to doop, K-pop. Shiver to doop, shiver to doop, 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 K-pop. Shiver to doop, shiver to doop, shiver to doop, K-pop. Shiver to doop, shiver to doop, shiver to doop, shiver to doop, K-pop. Shiver to doop, shiver to doop, shiver to doop, shiver to doop, K-pop. Shiver to doop, shiver to doop, shiver to doop, K-pop. Woo! And that's it for Q&A number 22. Um, I will see you guys all later. If you guys have a question for the next Q&A, please leave your comments and or video responses down below. That is it for me, Miles J. I will talk to you guys all later and I hope y'all have a great day. Au revoir!
like, okay, deuces. Q A Miles J. Subscribe. Hey everybody, Miles J here, and I've come to the conclusion that technology hates me. Either that, or I must be doing something fucking wrong, because this shit has been fucking up on and off for the past three months.